Hi, I'm Max Davey, uh, ADHD specialist and person with ADHD, and today I'm just going to continue my series of videos about what helps children and young people with ADHD, and we're going to talk about school. Now, there are two wrong ways to think about an ch ADHD child in school. One is the traditional old school, um, no pun intended, uh, uh, <laughs> view of uh, children with behaviour problems that really they've got a, a discipline uh, deficit, that they just need more discipline, they need rigid rules, zero tolerance, uh, and eventually they'll just see the error of their ways and uh, they'll stop behaving in this foolish and silly way. Um, and that is not something that you will get a teacher, head teacher to actually say, but I think it is in the background of a lot of the policies that schools put in place. And um, I think it's a very unforgiving and actually just doesn't work. But the opposite view, uh, which also doesn't work, is, oh, well, they've got ADHD, so there's nothing we can do about it. Um, we've just got to really make allowance and just let them be there, you know, let them be them. And, um, you know, we can't change their behavior. So we've just got to adapt to it. And that it seems obvious when you when you say it, but that obviously is not going to help either because it just gives no opportunity for growth or no opportunity for improvement uh, to the child and it leaves that it kind of gives up on them. Um, so generally speaking, if you're thinking about schools, um, the, the approach that I would say is that we, you know, we are where we are and what we need to do is, is work very hard together to get to a better place in terms of how well the child can engage with class, how well they behave, and it is everyone's collective duty and, and job to get that in a better place. Now, that's all very well, but actually it, it is really important to get the, the principle right. Um, how you do that in practice really varies from, from child to child, according to the age, according to where they're at at school, and also whether they have other additional difficulties on top of their ADHD. But I would say this, ADHD is a special educational need and so therefore falls in the UK under the special educational need code of practice. The school have certain reasonably limited, I must say, uh, duties towards the children uh, therefore um, and they need to treat the uh, ADHD as a need, uh, not a choice. Um, so they need to put in place certain strategies and what you should have locally are uh, uh, professionals who will be able to advise the school on what those strategies ought to be. Um, and um, so in Lambeth, where I work, we have a, a whole kind of booklet of strategies that, that schools can put in place. Um, and what they need to do as well as putting the strategies in place is then, if, and is then kind of do this kind of continuous process of trial and error because not only will, a so will some strategies work with some kids and some and, and not others, um, and it's very difficult to predict what will work and what won't. <clears throat> what, what happens as well is that uh, a strategy will work for one week and then stop working, and then it will work and then it won't work. Um, so you, you just need to keep trying. You just need to keep rotating around those strategies, um, and it's exhausting. It's exhausting for for, for um, teachers and exhausting for kids. Um, and I s understand and I get why teachers find dealing with kids with ADHD so frustrating, um, but I, they really can be helped. They can with a really with a positive, but not kind of letting them off the hook attitude. Uh, lots of strategies and lots of energy. These kids really can be helped to make progress uh, in um, in schools. And so I just really want people to adopt those kind of principles and go forward together if they possibly can. Um, there's lots of other stuff to say about schools, but that was, for me, the basics. Thank you very much.